So I got a really, really amazing thing to announce. First thing, Swamiji Satsang every day it will happen at 8 p.m. IST. Instead of morning, it is shifted to evening. So that's amazing. But what's so great and why I'm so excited about it? The another thing is, I got an opportunity to interview Swamiji. That's right, you heard it right. I'm going to personally interview Swamiji and it'll be part of a satsang. So, all of you who are watching this video, if you have any questions, just drop it in the comments. You have a rare opportunity of having your questions personally answered by Swamiji Paramahansa Nityananda, the rarest living incarnation. So, I'll tell you the theme, which theme I have chosen. My theme is the religious persecution of Hindu Gurus and specifically all leading to what happened with Swamiji, what all happened in 2010 and how and how is it still going on, the whole story. So that is going to be my topic and uh, actually I'll tell you, I'll share a small story. One of these days I was just sitting and dealing with uh, these uh, prostitutes, these abusers and uh, these kind of people and I was just sitting and wondering I was having a lot of fun with them yeah actually they are a lot of fun they are so stupid they are a lot of fun so I was thinking that uh, I just want to sit with Swamiji and crack jokes nothing more I want in life and uh, our department one special thing about our department is we have so many funny f stories to share that uh, that's how it is and this is uh, every department's update you know have a serious tone and uh, when Swamiji is seeing our department's update he would you know he would really enjoy and that was the best part that is the best part of Trishul department this is the only department where you can make an incarnation laugh like anything so I was just cherishing that thought and I was thinking I just want to sit with Swamiji and just crack jokes and I went to Akashic reading, uh, I had a question, I really didn't uh, have a burning desire to ask this question but I was seeing everybody's asking, they were asking to Kalbera, what was their previous life connection with Swamiji? So I said, oh, who cares, yeah. this birth, Swamiji is with me, that's all matters, or previous birth does not matter to me. But seeing one after another, people are having these questions and they are getting really amazing readings. I thought, okay, let me try, let me also ask. So I asked and... Uh, Kalabaro just said one thing. He, through the Balasanth, he just made a gesture and it was like, oh. And then he smiles and he says, you were the funniest disciple of Swamiji in past birth. So I think my wish of sitting with Swamiji, having some uh, tea, coffee, whatever it may be, and just chilling out, asking and really blasting, or really enjoying all these abusers, all their stupidity, it is like unimaginable stupidity when you know the details. How someone can buy such a ridiculous story of the whole religious persecution, when you see it, I am telling you, it's so stupid, so stupid. Media has really, it's a bunch of idiots, really big idiots, they think they are attacking Hindu gurus. And, I, you know, it'll be a lot of fun. This is something you have to watch. You have to watch. So, any question you have about religious persecution or related to Swamiji or any Hindu Guru, whether it be Ramakrishna Paramahans, for example, Ramakrishna Paramahans and Swami Vivekananda. So, what this fellow, there was one guy who wrote a book about him saying that Ramakrishna Paramahans was a, you know, um, homosexual pedophile, which means he was sexually attracted to the same gender and that to children and who was the child Swami Vivekananda that is the faltu idiotic absurd stupid mentally retarded perverted abusive story which that author cooked up and that is how he projected and that ended up being cited in uh, Britannica encyclopedia as the most authentic description of Ram Krishna Panans. come on that is so stupid who will buy who will believe such a such absurd, absurd stupidity. You go to Calcutta, any 
any shop, any street shop, you go near uh, Havra railway station, you will see they will have photograph of Ramakrishna Paramahansa and how they connect and how these idiots are writing. Completely, like, so stupid. They, these guys have not left anybody, any Hindu guru incarnation, who we connect to at various levels. They haven't left anybody. They have gone back in history and distorted the history or even while it was happening, they made a big false story about it. So ask about any guru, anything. And uh, I'll share one story. There was, uh, during the British era, one of the majors had won a war and he was walking in his horse, he was going in a procession in a, on his horse and people were, Indians were throwing flowers on him. He just made one comment, he said that if all these guys, instead of throwing flowers at me, threw stone at me, we would have not survived and India would have been a free nation. So what is the role of the people? who got brainwashed by the stupid media what all they written. See, if you see who are the media channels against Swamiji. Let's take an example, case by case, one by one. Let's say Sun TV. Sun TV, what they have, what they have done? They have hands in 2G spectrum scam. Scam worth almost 2 lakh crore rupees, which is 2 trillion rupees. If you, I translate it in dollar terms, I think it should be around um, 20, no, 50, you know, 20, 40 billion dollars, am I right? 40 billion dollars, whatever amount, big huge amount it is. So, such a big scam. There are 12 zeros after 2. 2 into 10 to the power of 12. That many zeros. That much amount of loss to the public exchequer, to the citizen of India, such people are against Swamiji. On what basis do people believe? There are other news channels who have hands in making multiple shell companies, I will not name them, we will name them with proper uh, citations, for now let's leave it, who have uh, multiple shell companies and have done thousands and uh, thousand crores of scam, where the people who have invested in the company filed cases against them and they found thousands of crores of scams. There are media channels, same media channels by the way, who go to the border and disclose all the military secrets to Pakistan and they attack our soldiers and really cause a lot of damage. There are media channels who try their extortion and defamatory uh, tactics and get sued for 100 crore rupees and pay it and still running profitable. Just imagine the amount of money they have involved in this industry and what all their capacity to take risk of facing such huge losses and still doing amazingly abusive work. Channels who got their assets worth 700 crore rupees confiscated by the enforcement directorate, still they are running the show. People, journalists who have multiple cases and they got bailed out by their channels, they said they will sponsor and they have multiple cases like uh, attempt to rape and molestation which the channel refused to you know, sponsor and help them and still they are boldly running the show. So much scams. All the media houses have done again one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. That is one side if you see and the same people are projecting terrorists bloody terrorists or at least you can say even if you don't believe them as terrorists people accused of terrorism they are projecting them as heroes and causing unrest in the nation in that name so it's gonna be a very interesting interview and I want you guys to come up with the most your best, most absurd, most intelligent, whatever questions you may have, just bombard the comments and give me anything you want me to ask in the interview. It can be as stupid, silly as why does Swamiji wear so much gold? No problem, ask all those questions. Or why do you have this uh, jatas? What's the point in having jatas? Or something like why do you apply vibhuti? Or what is the role, what is the intention of this anti-Hindu media? behind all this 
persecution ask anything and i guarantee you i'll do my best to incorporate i have got 45 minutes to one and a half hour 45 minutes minimum one and a half hour maximum time slot so i will try to push in your question definitely you'll enjoy this is going to be a the most juiciest entertaining interview you are going to watch ever so thank you for tuning in i am looking forward to your question nityanandam